I've been wondering, can I really talk to God anywhere? If I stand or I sit or I kneel on the ground, can you hear me now? If I walk in the park or I dance with a clown, can you hear me now? If I'm up in a tree, getting stung by a bee, yikes. Can you hear me yell? In the quiet of the night or the broad daylight, can you hear me now? If I'm upside down or spinning all around, can you hear me now? If there's a spider on my knee or I'm watching TV, wait, did someone say spider? Can you hear me now? I want to know, what can I say that you won't hear me? God, is there anywhere I can be where you aren't near? No, he's literally everywhere. Everywhere? Really? Huh. Well, I guess that answers that. If I stand or I sit or I kneel on the ground, you can hear me now. If I walk in the park or dance with a clown, you can hear me now. If I'm up in a tree, you're getting stung by me. Ow, we, you're for sure gonna hear me now. In the quiet of the night or the broad daylight, you can hear me now. If I'm upside down or spinning all around, you can hear me now. The spider on my knee or I'm watching TV, you can hear me now. <laughs> I can talk to God anywhere. It's Coach King, and it's time for the dance of the day. Stand up on your feet with me. Hey, DJ, hit that beat. Watch me. Snap, one, two, three, snap. One, two, three, snap. One, two, three, snap. Now you guys are going to join me, all right? Ready and go. One, two, three, snap. One, two, three, snap. One, two, three, snap. One, two, three, snap. Looking good. Last time. Great job, guys. See you next time. Thank you. The best help anyone can ever get comes from asking God. He is the ultimate source of wisdom. In the book of Acts, Peter knew it was important to tell other people about Jesus, but he got in trouble for doing it and was sent to jail. Peter's friends were very concerned about Peter and decided they needed God's help. They began to pray and didn't stop asking for God to release Peter from the chains he was in. God heard their prayers and sent an angel to visit Peter in jail one night. Peter was asleep between two guards when the angel appeared to tell Peter to get up and get dressed. At first, Peter thought he was dreaming. He followed the angel out of the prison gate and into the city. When the angel left him, he could not believe he was free. He went to Mary's house where his friends were together praying for him. When he knocked on the door, a young girl heard his voice and got so excited she ran to tell the others that Peter was free, but she forgot to open the door. But Peter kept on knocking. When Peter's friends finally opened the door, they were amazed that God had heard their prayers and had helped free Peter from jail. As we run the race of life, 
just like Peter did, we need to remember that we can keep on praying. It's the best and wisest thing to do for help. One way to pray is to remember the letters in the word, pray. P, praise. Praise God by telling Him how awesome He is and thank Him for different things in your life. R, repent. That's a fancy word for saying you're sorry. It's telling God you're gonna stop doing the wrong thing and start doing what He says is right. A, ask. Ask God for whatever you want and need. Why? Yes. Say yes to whatever God says is best, even if it's not what you want. What's for lunch? Not up. Did you catch that? Not up. Hot dog. Mmm. Yum. Have you ever noticed that when you get quiet, you actually hear better? Our lives are filled with so much noise. Just think about how loud it is on the bus when your friends are all trying to talk at once. Despite the noises all around us, we need to set aside time each day to get quiet with God and grow our friendship with Him. Jesus set a great example for what it looks like to find a quiet place and spend time with God. Jesus' life was just as busy, if not more busy, than ours. He did a lot of normal stuff with his friends, but he also spent time traveling to different places and helping the people he met. He would teach them about God's love, and they would ask him a lot of questions. Jesus was always willing to do anything he could for others, but he also knew he needed to set aside time to rest. Even though he was God's son, Jesus made sure he got quiet and spent time with his heavenly father. One of the times Jesus liked to get quiet was in the morning. In the book of Mark, Jesus had spent the evening healing and helping people. This could have made Jesus very tired, but instead of sleeping in, he got up before the sun to find a quiet place and to no surprise, his heavenly Father was ready and waiting to spend time with him. Jesus knew that despite all the important things he was doing, nothing was more important than his friendship with God. Even when Jesus was busy helping crowds of people, he would get away by himself to talk to God and listen to what God had to say. Whenever Jesus would spend time with God, it helped him have the power and the strength to keep healing sick people and helping others he met. Jesus also liked to spend time with God outdoors. In the book of Matthew, we see that Jesus was with his friends in the Garden of Gethsemane. He told them to stay where they were so he could get alone to pray. You see, Jesus knew the time was coming for him to take the punishment for the sins of the world. He could have chosen to talk to his friends about what he was feeling, but instead, Jesus knew his heavenly Father was the best person to talk to. Jesus realized if he set aside time to get quiet with God, he could hear what his Father had to say. When we take time to listen to God, we can hear him too. It doesn't really matter where you go. Just make it a habit to get quiet every day, and soon your friendship with God will grow. I can talk to God anywhere. We can talk to God about anything, anytime, anywhere. He is always with us and He's always listening. You could be in the middle of class, afraid that you're going to bomb your math test, or you could be in your room all by yourself playing worship music as loud as you can stand it. The time, the place, and the subject doesn't really matter. What matters is opening your heart to God and telling Him everything because we can literally talk to God anywhere, let's practice talking to Him right now. Go ahead, get still and quiet wherever you are and get your heart ready because we are going to pray. If it helps you, you can even close your eyes. First, we are going to praise. Take a minute and tell God something that you're thankful for. You can say it out loud or quietly in your heart, but go ahead, I'll wait.
Next, we are going to repent and tell God that we're sorry. Is there something you've done that you know wasn't right or isn't what God would want you to do? God already knows every bad thing you've done and that you could ever do, and He loves you no matter what. So go ahead and tell God about it. Next, let's ask God a question. Sometimes we don't have the things that we really want because we haven't asked God for them. Now, God's not a magic fairy just dropping things from the sky, but you can go to God with confidence, knowing that He is going to take care of you. You can know if He doesn't give you what you've asked for, it's because He has something even greater in store. You can ask God for anything you want or need. Is there something you want Him to do? Anything you want to ask, He can handle it. Okay, go ahead, take a second to ask God for something. Now, let's get really quiet. Listen for God's voice to say something to your heart. If you heard God's voice, or even if you didn't, it's okay. Just like you can talk to God anytime and anywhere, He can talk to you anytime, anywhere too. So keep listening for Him each day. Finally, we are going to say yes to God. Let's tell God that whatever He wants us to do, we're all about it. Say this after me out loud or in your heart. God, whatever you want me to do, the answer is yes. I trust you and I love you. Amen. You did it. You just talked to God. I hope you've learned that God loves you. He is always with you. And if you're talking, He is listening. I can talk to God anywhere. People all over the world know that they can pray in any way. Yere, thank you that you may live it. Dieu, merci pour ton amour envers moi. Bože, dziękuję, że mnie kochasz. Hola, Deus. Obrigado por me armar. Oh, mi di muaka. Good. Thank for the details, Kamei. Come on, Chua, we're right, Yoko. Bao, Gabulela, Uze Uba, Uze Wang Tanda, Kwazwa Fiedela, Ulish Kunga Tenguso. Hey, God, thank you for loving me. Amen. In case you missed it, here is what you need to know. I can talk to God anywhere.